Facebook has shut down more dissenting voices. Waste Ed, Soapbox, and Back Then are three Facebook pages who produce news and informational content that have been silenced at the behest of the United States government. The problem, it seems, is that Facebook feels that they are Kremlin propaganda designed to influence millennials. Now, the pages are run by Mafic Media, a company whose majority stakeholder is roughly a subsidiary of RT, which is funded by the Russian government. The problem Facebook and aligned forces have is that the company is registered in Germany, not the U.S. Facebook suspended the pages on Friday, saying it would reach out to the people running them to ask them that they disclose where their pages are run from and their affiliation with the parent company in order to get back on the platform. This is an odd situation. Facebook does not request this kind of information. Now, these pages did not disclose their connections to Rupley or even RT because they're not required to disclose it. However, it seems that this rule has suddenly changed, at least for these three Facebook pages. Now, a spokesperson from Facebook did defend the move. People connecting with pages shouldn't be misled about who's behind them. Just as we've stepped up our enforcement of coordinated inauthentic behavior and financially motivated spam over the past year, we'll continue improving so people can get more information about the pages they follow. Rania Kalluk is an American political commentator who frequently appears on Mafix videos. Now, she did have a comment when questioned by CNN. Working for In The Now or working for Soapbox or Mavic is not an endorsement of the policies of its sponsors, just like working for CNN is not an endorsement of the pharmaceutical companies or weapons companies that play advertisements on CNN, or just like working for the BBC or Al Jazeera is not an endorsement of the policies of the British government or Al Jazeera's case, the Qatar absolute monarchy. We should judge journalists on the content they produce. So if you want to judge me, judge me on the content. Judge me on the facts I'm presenting. If you have a problem with that, challenge me on that. But as far as funding goes, all media is funded either by corporations or governments. So if we're going to have a conversation about funding, we really should open up that to include all media outlets, including CNN. Now, Mafic owns all three pages. Waste Ed is an environmentalist kind of news outlet. Soapbox is a daily current events. And back then is an informational page which relates mostly to the history of colonialism and imperialism. What seems to be suspicious to Facebook is the fact that the pages combined have over 30 million views, but only in the past few months. However, this seems to be a new rule change when something disagrees with the mainstream imperialist news narrative. There's a long history of anti-war and general criticism being silenced by media giants. State-owned media such as the BBC, Al Jazeera, or CBC have not been required to register as foreign agents, nor have they been forced to explicitly tell people that they work for particular governments. I wonder, is this a tactic that's only intended for any kind of media that disagrees with the mainstream? Why are we not given some kind of rule that tells us which of the media outlets that we're watching are paid for by one of the four corporations that dominate the entire news media? When is that rule going to be put in place? Or is this just a rule that is going to be put up for anything that dissents from the mainstream narrative? Jason Nunru, MRN, Niagara Falls. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.